What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today is January 4th, 2023. And in today's video, in the first video of the year on my channel, we'll be doing a quick crypto market overview, followed by a coin, a meme coin, that has gone up over 170% the last 24 hours. If you guys think that's interesting, stick around and I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, hopefully you're all having a great day. Happy New Year. This is the first video that I put out on my channel for 2023. And on that note, smash that thumbs up button on your way in. Consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed. And turn on those bell notifications so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. It's the easiest thing you guys can help do to support my channel during this bear market that we've been in. But we may not be in one much longer, at least in my opinion. Got a couple things I want to share with you guys uh, before we begin talking about the meme coin. Uh, we'll just jump right into it, do a quick crypto market overview, and then uh, we'll talk about the main topic of discussion. So let's just jump right into it. So the, today seems like it's been pretty decent overall for the crypto markets and the stock market. We are up about 1.73% the last 24 hours. We got Bitcoin up about 0.91%. So at $16,833, we got ETH doing pretty well, up about 2.52%, sitting so at $1,254. Uh, we got BNBs up about 4.72%. Uh, Dogecoin's up 2.85%. Cardano up about 4.59%, sitting so at $0.27. Cents. Pretty good. Still uh, holding on to my Cardano. Love that. Even though some people probably don't like it out there, it's just uh, one of those long and steady holds. Did pretty well for me during the bull run. Uh, top gainers, we got XYO. Oh, wow, up about 50%. I've had that for a long time, that app. It's the, uh, I think it's like the geocaching, not geocaching, but like you drive around with it and it helps do whatever. I forget exactly what it is, but uh, I completely forgot about it. We got Synapse up about 15.88% and ETH Classic up about 14.91%, sit at $19. Top losers the last 24 hours got Moss, a carbon credit down about 6.14%, Maple down about 5.49%. And OKB down about 4.93%. Send at $27.37. Like I said, today is January 4th, 2023. Holidays for today. It's National Trivia Day. Dimple Chad Day. Earth at Perihelion. Don't know what that is, but it says get your sunglasses on and bask in all our information about Earth at Perihelion. If you guys know what that is, let me know. I have no idea. Free Flower Basket Day. National Can Can Do Day. I thought it was like can candy or something. It's I don't know. Can do. I guess that's what that means. Day by striving to be better and more focused. Okay. Uh, Clara Day, Missouri Day, Rachel Day, National Spaghetti Day. That's a big one. Love my carbs and love my spaghetti. And uh, let's see. Gear up for this natural event that brings us closest to the sun. It's something about Earth being close to the sun, I guess. Pop Music Chart Day, Tom Thumb Day, Weigh In Day, Braille Day, and World Hypnotism Day. Hypnotism. You guys believe in that stuff? You think that's all fake? I'm curious. I never I never really believed it. All right, Crypto Bubbles. See you green for the top 100 right now. Uh, looking good. Jump right into my favorites. All my favorites are doing well, except ICP down about 1.8%. Uh, VGX up about 3.3%. Oh, man. I just want that to be over, that whole case. Elrond, well, formerly Elrond, now Multiverse X, up about 4%. Ada's doing pretty good, up 2.6%. Helium, up about 1.2%. Uh, I'm still mining it, barely making that much, but I do believe they're migrating over to Solana. I have to go get my seed phrase within the app in order to, I guess, transfer everything over or whatever. So that's something I just reminded myself as I'm making this video. Fear and Greed Index. Let me just refresh it, but I do believe no change from yesterday, even though the markets were all green today. It was a 29 yesterday, and again, today, we're at a 29 in fear. Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. I've been in the fear and extreme fear for well over a year right now. A lot of people like to trade on the fear and greed index, and uh, I'm DCA in every day and putting as much money in as I can afford to lose. DXY, we're looking at about a 104.182, 186. Uh, it looks like the last 24 hours on the daily that uh, the DXY ended red. And if you guys know me, I always say this, whenever the DXY is down, that's when crypto markets and traditional markets are up and vice versa. So no surprise that we're exactly seeing that today. Uh, total crypto market cap right now, we're still 
under a trillion dollars, looking at about a $779 billion total crypto market cap. Again, we've been in this massive falling wedge for the total crypto market cap and for Bitcoin for quite a while right for quite a while right now. It looks like we're squeezing, uh, at least here on the daily, far away from this Ichimoku cloud. I mean, if we can get through that Ichimoku cloud, break this top trend line right here and start breaking out, that'll be a good thing for the total crypto market cap. Neutral on the RSI. And it looks like we do have some momentum here on the daily for the total crypto market cap, which is good to see. Bitcoin dominance right now uh, pretty much has been kind of just trading sideways since about June of 2021, it looks like. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. We hit 47% down to 39%, but it's been in this like 48% top range down to this 39% range for quite over, uh, what is this, over a year or so, yeah, so, yeah, Bitcoin dominance, but it looks like we're just slowly going down, are trying to break through this Ichimoku cloud here, which is a good positive thing to see, neutral on the RSI, and looks like we do have some positive momentum on the histogram for the, or on the MACD. All right, traditional markets, like I said, DXY was down a little bit today, so all the traditional markets were up, however, it looks like the futures are a little down for tomorrow for the stock market. All right, so let's jump into a couple things on the macro perspective. We did have the Fed minutes earlier today, and basically what came out of that is that they said that they need substantially more evidence to ease inflation before they stop the hiking. Uh, the stock market barely budged, plus or minus 2%. Home builders up 3%. Gold was up uh, 1%. Gold miners up 4%, which is to a seven-month high. Uh, and Bitcoin was up about 1.5%. ETH up 4%. FOMC meeting minutes, further rate hikes are necessary. Rate cuts probably won't happen in 2023. Dang. So who knows what's going to come of that? Uh, I do know we do have a couple other things coming up. We have the CPI numbers on January 12th, jobless data tomorrow, non-farm payroll on the 6th, just a couple macro perspective that plays into all the traditional markets and crypto markets. So those are just some things to think about uh, when you guys are investing. Oh, none of this is financial advice. This is all just entertainment, and I'm just some dude on the internet, not financial advice. Always got to say that because you got crazy people out there. All right, jumping into Bitcoin. We're looking at about $16,828. Bitcoin's pretty much been doing absolutely nothing. It's been boring since about the middle of December. We've literally just been in this this channel trading sideways, up and down, up and down, uh, between about the 16.4 uh, all the way to about that $17,000 mark, which you're just trying to break. It looks like we did break almost we just just kind of wicked and touched it for like a second today uh, but yeah we can't break that 17,000 so pretty boring for bitcoin when in doubt zoom out at least here on the forward chart let's just bring it out to the daily uh we do have this massive falling wedge like i previously mentioned just like the total crypto market cap we are breaking out of that which is pretty good uh to see but again ever since we broke out of it here around the uh, 2nd of December, we've just been pretty much trading sideways. We got this thick Ichimoku cloud. It looks like we're just kind of skimming across on a daily, and we're trying to break through it. Uh, let's see, RSI, we're neutral for the daily, but if you do go out a little bit on the bigger time frames, like on the weekly, obviously the RSI, it's been super oversold on Bitcoin for quite a while right now. And even if you go to the monthly, we are at pretty historical lows right now. And we are starting to see a little bit of positive momentum starting here uh, on the monthly. I mean, if it keeps continuing like this kind of trend, if you just kind of go like this every month, we're looking around the July, possibly June, July, May, June, July time frame where we could start to see a nice little rally and then maybe that leg five uh, for the Elliott wave pattern that a lot of people are thinking that we're going to be seeing here for Bitcoin. Because if I take a look at the daily, let me just show you what some people are saying uh, you uh, take this all the way back to the Bitcoin bottom that we had back in, what was this, around December 2018. A lot of people think where this is kind of the zero, where you go one, two, three, we bottomed out four here, potentially could see a five. I mean, I, I, did, I did put this channel for Bitcoin. Uh, this is ugly. Ew. Ooh. Let me just auto do this real quick. Okay, here we go. But yeah, kind of like a leg up to the fifth. I mean, who knows? A lot of some people are saying 
127,000 if it continues along this trend line we could potentially maybe a little below it so who knows maybe this next le this leg up five if we have it in 2023 we could see between i don't know i'm just throwing numbers out there between 90 and 120 130,000 dollar bitcoin but that's just uh, something to think about we got this chart from Trader Tardigrade, said that when the monthly Bitcoin MACD histogram turns green in color, the Bitcoin will follow a bull run. So you can see at this MACD histogram step line with diamonds right here, whenever it is green, we do suit kind of a nice run up. Uh, we have this back in 2019 where it touched green or had the uh, step line with diamonds in the green. Nice little run fake out here in 2019 and then we kind of uh, went in a little downtrend before we started the 2021 bull run at the end of 2020 it turned green boom we had that massive uh jump to the first april 2021 bitcoin all-time high that we had which people were saying that was the top according to this it kind of is they said the second bitcoin all-time high which is the all-time high actually that was kind of a fake out i guess is what some people were saying to kind of where we're at now we have these green diamonds. So, I mean, how many diamonds will this play out? Looks like there's four here, three here, three here. Could we see another one? Uh, potentially, potentially. But after that, what this guy's saying, we could see a nice little bull run. So just a little hopium for you guys uh, for Bitcoin and the macro environment and just kind of looking at some data and patterns and whatnot. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. All right, jumping in the topic of discussion. You've probably been seeing this on social media, on the crypto Twitter world and uh, and if and if not, I mean, it's caught my eye. I, I saw, I've heard about it, and I did a little research on it for today's video. But uh, again, this is a meme coin on Solana, which I'm not a big fan of Solana. Uh, I haven't really done my due diligence on Solana. I just know that it's real fast on transactions, and it goes down a lot, which is something that I don't want to invest in, uh, especially in the crypto space. But check this out it is up 176 percent the last 24 hours we got a market cap of 150 million with a trading volume in the last 24 hours of 189 million uh we have a max supply of what is this million billion hundred trillion total supply of a 99 trillion and current circulating supply of 46 trillion absolutely insane so you guys can see uh markets that it's on right now i think a lot of uh, exchanges did uh list it within the last couple of days bkx let's just see what the most volume is this bkx i don't even know what that is it's probably a foreign exchange or something but they have about 50 percent of the volume uh then you got orca is that 15 percent huobi seven percent coin dcx and all these other uh exchanges trying to jump into the hype right now so that's bonk for you what exactly is Bonk? We'll get with that here in a second. But with all this hype with Bonk going on the last couple of days or the last week or so, Solana's been doing pretty good. I mean, since around the 29th of December, which I think this is actually when Bonk was listed, it was, a, it was like basically a free airdrop to a lot of 50% of the holders or something like that. I'll talk about that here in a second. But Solana's gone from about $8.30 to a peak of about $14.07 today. But we just came down a little bit right now. And Solana's at $13.26. So a lot of people saying that this bonk has contributed to the positive price action for Solana. So bonk, what is it? Is the first Solana dog coin for the people and by the people. There's no official Telegram or Discord. They have this website, which we'll go here and we'll go to in a second. Got about 60.3 thousand followers. Yeah, I think this is just some bear market hype thing that was developed. Um, here's their website. They do have a little chat and... I don't know, this is like 25 minutes ago. I just said, we'll bonk in you, go to zero. I haven't heard a response back. Say hi to my YouTube channel, Crypto Airborne. So uh, let's see if they ever reply back. I'll let you guys know. But all this is, you, you can't scroll up or down. This is it. It tells you what bonk is. It's uh, the first Solana dog coin for the people, by the people. 50% of the supply airdrop to the Solana community. The main thing that they created this for is because the bond contributors were tired of the toxic Alameda Research tokenomics and wanted to make a fun meme coin where everyone gets a fair shot. They've got this one pager basically kind of describing what percentage of what uh, everyone is getting. I think they recently just announced their white paper eight, seven, eight hours ago, and then they have a lot of integrations. So it's not just a meme coin 
Uh, they do have a lot of different integrations with all these different projects or exchanges on Solana, which I am not familiar with any of these because I don't really know that much about Solana. But Orca adds some bonk liquidity in Orca. Bet with bonk at Quack Pots Casino. I guess they have casinos. You can bet with bonk, borrow, lend your, your bonk, buy NFTs with bonk. All these different integrations that this, this meme coin actually has. So I guess that's better than nothing. So it has a little bit of utility. All right, so I did find this nice little small thread. I'm just going to go through real quick from Litecoin Yagami, uh, just talking about what Bonk is, what it is, and all that type of stuff. It says none of it's token on, uh, none of this is financial advice, and he has been an airdrop uh, holder of Bonk since the beginning. Again, this is kind of the distribution, like it has straight from their website. But it's, like I said, 50% of the initial supply was airdropped to the Solana community. Bonk's model plays around uh, low FDV, high supply token, with a three-year OG contributor, contributor vesting period. So FDV apparently is a fully diluted valuation is the total market cap of all tokens released. The high FDVs lead to inflation and high sell pressure. Tokens reach absurd valuations, but eventually more tokens flood the market, driving the price down. Many predatory tokens utilize high FDV. So, like it says on their main website, they didn't want to be like Alameda Research Tokenomics, and they wanted to make a fun meme coin where everyone gets a fair shot. So they flipped the model in favor of more community-focused token with ecosystem utility. Again, they have all those integrations like I previously mentioned. He kind of talks about it right here. Uh, the good community. The community seems really strong. I'm seeing a lot of hype about this on Twitter. Uh, so that's good to see which then a lot of people are getting eyes more on Solana. Maybe this is why Solana's been pumping the last seven days or so since this launch. Uh, the FUD, there is insiders, and the team will dump on you, is what a lot of people saying, because I don't think exactly we even know who it is. They just want to rename Anonymous. Website says that the early contributors are subjected to a linear vesting over three years. Words are just words, but it's clear statement, and remember, no one's forced you to click buy. So I guess the early contributors or the creators, there's going to be a vesting period over three years. So they didn't just get initial supply and they can't dump on you. So that's some of the FUD that's been going around. More, all meme coins go to zero. Essentially, could true could be true. Uh, there's so many spinoffs of other coins like Shiba Inu and Dogecoin, Baby Doge, Doge Girlfriend. There's a whole bunch of different things. There's already people creating uh, spinoffs of this, and this just literally started. And I'll talk about that here at the end. Uh, the ugly market conditions, we're in a bear market. This thing is pumping. Uh, I didn't get a chance to look at the Solana scan. It's kind of like an Ether scan just to kind of see who, how, what percentage of top holders hold what. That would have been a good thing to put up. But, uh, yeah, bear market things. Bear ma The macro is bad right now. Realistically, alts have room to bleed. If they do, meme coins will suffer 100x worse. But, like I just previously mentioned in this video, if we are bottoming out right now, and the market starts to pick back up, this potentially could pick back up with it. So it's something to think about. And like I said, more of the ugly is the team. There is no straight answer who specifically the team is. He does know a, fel a few well-respected contributors, such as this guy, the only nom. Uh, but money contribute many contributors want to remain anonymous. I value a bit more transparency in this area. So his closing thoughts are... Some folks will get upset for him for the thread. Truth, that meme coins are dangerous. I agree 100%. But a lot of people have gotten rich on meme coins. But as much as it's gone up right now, it's got to retrace. It's going to retrace. So if you're watching this video right now, like I said, not financial advice. It's probably not the best thing to get into right now. But I could be totally wrong. I'm just some guy on the internet. Have fun, but don't let euphoria cloud your judgment. All right. So like I said, there's a lot of spinoffs going, on, going around Two hours ago, Baby Bonk Coin is going to launch on the 6th of January. They got a couple thousand followers, not even. They have like 1,500 followers. Just probably people trying to live off the hype of this Bonk, Bonk Coin or whatever and just try to make a little extra money. They got that Baby Bonk, then they got Bonk Ape. It's just this <laughs> something that happens all the time when stuff hypes like this and, and that's trending. Like I said, you go to CoinGecko, number one, boink, trending. So this is just a trendy thing that a lot of people are talking about, lots of different spinoffs. And, yeah, just uh, be careful when you guys are investing into this. Last but not least, Vanessa Harris, someone in our crypto community group, had her on my channel multiple times on my Thirsty Thursday Hangouts. But she said, is your blockchain dying? Call 1-800-BONK. Revival guaranteed or your bonk back. 
So there you have it, guys. Bonk coin up 170% the last 24 hours. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you aren't. Turn on the bell notification so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. Go check me out on Twitter where I am the most active at crypto underscore airborne. If you guys want to go follow me on TikTok, which I keep getting banned from going live for just ridiculous reasons because I have an American flag in my ba background and some people think that's, I guess, uh, hateful. It's hateful speech is what. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't go live until tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I'm just having fun on there. So give me, give me a follow on TikTok if you want. But uh, that's going to do it for me. I'm going to try to upload a video, like I said, once a week. It's the beginning of the new year. I'm on a new schedule, so I do get some more time off, which is good. Uh, focus on more what's going on in the crypto world. Uh, focus on a little bit of crypto investing and my diverse diversification into the regular stock market. And, uh, you know, just uh, trying to grind, keep up the grind, and just continue documenting my crypto journey. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash your best thumbs up button on your way out and have a great rest of your night, day, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in this world. Crypto Airborne out.